Deliverance Network. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share us, start spreading the word because these messages really do need to be heard far and wide throughout the world. Carefully discerned, of course, as I always state, no one is obliged to believe in private revelation, but I do believe we should at least discern as the Bible itself tells us we need to do. And so in that vein, I'm going to share another message that I received at Adoration from our Lord Jesus from October the 3rd, 2023. And he says, place yourself in my heart without delay, children. My heart is the only place of safety. Realize that I am your true refuge. Evil is about to dominate the planet in an attempt to overthrow all Christianity. The plan of redemption un is unfolding dramatically throughout the world as the Antichrist hastens to ensnare my children in his web of evil. My hour has reached midnight throughout the earth. Now it is the hour of my adversary, Satan. This time has arrived in order to sift my children. Satan gloats at the number of souls he has ensnared in his trap. The power he wields is given over to him by my Father for the final battle. Ready yourselves for the battle, people. You must arm your whole self in armor. Do not expose any area of your soul to sin. Be constantly alert, for the devil is seeking every child of my Father in order to bring them into his snare. Go, child, and film this message for my children. Go now and close my word. And he ended this one, your beloved Savior. Of course, this is an extremely hard word that I am called yet again to share with you, but I ask you to take it very, very seriously and into prayerful discernment. If you are not someone who thinks that there is a God, you need to start turning toward the possibility and asking God to reveal himself to you. I can't state it any more plainly. Many visionaries on the Watchtower are preaching the same things as I am in this hour, that the time is very short, the time is urgent. We've already gone through tremendous upheaval, change, some control through the COVID pandemic. And we are coming upon more things coming in the future. I do believe that it is urgent that we turn towards God, that we ask him to come to us, to show us what we need to change. He's given us the Bible, he's given us the commandments, he's given us the church, he's given us the example of the lives of the saints for years and years and years. And more and more people have turned the other way and gone away looking for fulfillment in every other area except the place that will give you the full fulfillment you were created for. God is love and he fills your heart in a way no other substitute in the world can do. I know that many of you have also a reticence toward Mary, especially if you're not part of the Catholic Church. But the truth is that Mary, this being created by the Father in order to house Jesus, literally his son, and bring him into the world for us, for his sacrifice on the cross, is the closest person there is to Jesus as a human being. She carried him in her womb, she gave birth to him, she mothered him, she had him with her for the entire time he was on the earth, and he has made her apparently queen of heaven. We owe her at the very least the dignity of the mother of God in that title. The other thing about Mary is that she only desires to bring you close to her son. She does not seek anything for herself. She wants you to find heaven. She wants your soul to be saved. She wants you to be fulfilled, happy, healthy, and whole. And so Mary's role is to bring people towards her son, Jesus. So I ask you to take all of this into prayerful discernment. She has great power, of course, to help fight this battle with us that we're being called to fight. I believe in our times it's going to get very, very heated. So I ask you to turn towards God. I'll find that if you do that, you will come to have a better understanding as well of Mary. And you will definitely come to know Jesus as your Savior. I think that's about all I can say for today. Please take these words again seriously into discernment and share them with your circles. Thank you so much for joining again at the Deliverance Network. May God bless.